everyone and welcome back to Anxious Beauty. Today we're going to do a 4th of July inspired full get ready with your makeup look. Let's get started. Alright guys, so like I said, we are going to do a whole 4th of July inspired get ready with me look. Um, this look isn't going to be for everybody. I'm feeling really creative and playful today, so I'm just going to kind of roll with it and have fun and be extreme. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not going to be an everyday look by no means, but we're going to have fun with it today. We're just playing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tape my eyes today just because I want to see... If I can get my eyeshadow somewhat perfect without having to clean it up too terribly much today. We'll see how that goes. But 4th of July is tomorrow, so I figured we can just kind of do like a fun look today. And I also, once again, would like to just say I apologize about that live I did a couple days ago. It did not have the sound in it. I do not know why it didn't have the sound, but it didn't. So, once again, sorry about that. But, anyway, moving on. I am going to go in with Think Me Later Eyeshadow Primer by Elizabeth Mott. I like to serve my eyes so that way the foundation concealer and stuff will clean it up. I'm hoping this tape does help kind of create a border though so it's not too terribly messy today. Now I am going to go in. We are actually going to be using two different palettes today. First palette I'm going to use is the Morphe Lisa Frank eyeshadow palette and of course red, white, and blue. So we're going to keep to that theme. And I am going to go in with this red right here and that is called Buzz. Sorry this is such a big palette. But it is very beautiful. But we're going to be using this color right here. I'm going to set this down because it is so big. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye. Like so. Of course do the same thing on the other side here. I am going to go in a second time with that one. There we go. Alright. Now switching gears. I am going to switch uh, brushes and I'm going to use this brush. And I'm actually going to go in with this white right here, and that is called Blanca. I hope I'm saying that right, Blanca. So this one right here. And actually, the first time I've used the white in this palette. And I'm just really packing on that white going on this side as well. And doing the same thing. My eyes aren't going to be exactly 100% perfect, but that's alright. Alright, so like that, like that. Switching brushes once more. This one here, and I'm going to use this blue down here, and this is called Angel Kitty. Right there. My elbows matches the blue of the brush. That's a very pretty blue. That. Okay, and then I am one last time just gonna use this brush for the white one more time and just really build up that color. So now we are gonna switch gears here. We are done with this palette. And I'm gonna go into one of my original palettes that I have here. This guy is very well loved, but this is the Take Me Back to Brazil by BH Cosmetics Rio Edition. Now, as you guys can see, this is all shimmer shades in here. I am going to go ahead and use my finger here, and I'm going to tap this red shade right here on the red part of my eye. 
Like I said, this palette's been very well loved. So let's just like that. Go on on the other side. And we are definitely gonna have to clean up the eyes just a little bit, but that's all right. Now I'm gonna go in. This one does not have a white, but I think this is a highlight shade, but I'm gonna use it on my eye anyway. Right here, and I'm gonna tap that on the white part. So it looks just like that. Okay, and then one last time here, I'm gonna go in with this blue shade. I am thinking probably this one will work right here. That's a pretty color too. Alright, so my eyes look like that. And I believe we are done with this palette as well. Set that up over here. And then I am going to go in with a blending brush. And we are just going to blend all this out. Alright. So there's the eye, and there's the eye. And I just bumped my microphone up. Now we get to take the tape off, very carefully, and voila. Oh yeah, that helped out a lot. Now we don't have so much to clean off. So I'm gonna clean off my eyes, just a little bit around them off camera real quick, and I'll be back with the next step. All right guys, so this is how we're looking now. So we are going to go in with some primer, and for primer today, we are using the Pretty Filter Icy Sherpa Primer by Touch and Soul. Take it out of its box here. That's what this looks like. And this is supposed to, or is a hydrating primer. Now I'm going to give that primer a chance to sink into my skin a little bit more. So I'm going to go and put on some mascara real quick. For mascara today, we are using the Bare Mineral Slash Topia Mega Volume Mineral Base Mascara. Alright. Now for foundation today, we are using the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the dewy version, and I have mine in the shade Porcelain. And I know you probably shouldn't put this little spatula applicator right on your face, but I'm going to. Because it's fine. See where that goes? Going in with my beauty sponge here and just... Alright, and I just want a little bit more coverage today, so I'm going to go in again and just kind of... Go over those spots. Alright. Whoops. Now we can move on here. I am going to go in with just a little bit of bronzer today. Not too crazy. I'm using the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Bronzer. It's sun kiss bronzer for your face and body. And this is in light. Now this bronzer has a little bit of shimmer to it. Not too crazy though. Don't mind my kissy face here. Now I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend that out just a little bit better, like so. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is, this is a duo here. This is the Wet n Wild Highlight Bling and Hello Halo Blush Lighter. And we're going to be using both of those today. I am just going to use, I'm thinking this brush here. Now I'm going to clean up my little um, swatch pan here just to kind of clean it off so I can use it one more time so I'm not cross-contaminating too much. Like so. If you guys don't have one of these, I suggest you get one. And they are 
Ooh, lifesaver and they are lovely. This is like a pinky shade. I'm just gonna put that on the cheeks. Do a little bit more. Like that. Like that. And then, just for fun, we're going to put some blush on the nose. Just on the end there. Like so. Blend that out just a little bit more. And then we're going to use the highlighter, like I said, in here. You can go down the nose, of course. Keep it smooth. And then I'm gonna once again blend it out. And some stuff on my right phone. And guys, I almost forgot to conceal. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that today. I am gonna use the Tarte uh, Shape Tape Glow Wand in the shade Sunbeam. We'll just go ahead and conceal real quick. I can't believe I almost forgot to do that. My goodness. And what's cool about this, it's on the other side, it has a little sponge for the go and it fits perfectly right underneath your eyes like so all right now guys before i move on to the lips i want to do something a little bit extra today because i want to be extra so since it's the fourth of july i think of stars um, I'm going to use some stickers on my face and then outline them with eyeshadow just for something fun to do, something different. I'm thinking maybe like right around here maybe or is that too much? Maybe like, mm, let's see here, like there. Alright, and then once again we're going to go back into the BH cosmetics palette here what I'm gonna do is take those same shades that we use for the red band blue shimmer shades and I, uh, we will just swatch real quick here my swatch pan like so What I'm going to do is go on with that red shade here and do this. Looks crazy, but it's going to turn out cute, I think. Right here. Alright, so there's that. Swatch this one real quick here. Actually, there might be enough blue on them. Watch that. Then I'm gonna go in with that shimmer white here. One more time with that since it's such a light shade. Same thing on the other side. All right, and then lastly, of course, the blue shade. All right, guys, now for the fun reveal. This. How cool is that? You gonna see that? Oh, that's cute. Oh, look at that. I'll have you guys have a close up here. How cute is that? That is just adorable. Last but not least, guys, I'm sorry it might be a longer video, 
Uh, where you're going to go in with the Laura Geller New York Flirty Kisses Lip Walking Liquid Color in the shade Pink Pucker. One last thing, guys. I am going to go in with the L'Oreal Paris uh, lip gloss here. And this is in the shade White Gold. Just for some shimmer over top of that red. Alright guys, I am going to clean these lips up real quick off camera and I'll see you with the final results. Alright guys, this is the final results, the final look. Thank you guys for watching, I really do appreciate it. This is just a fun look, I wanted to get creative today. That is going to be it for me guys, thank you guys again and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!